Just finished up my morning speech at the Texas Public Policy Foundation, TPPF, out here in Austin. On my way to the airport, getting to D.C. for a speech at CPAC this afternoon. What time is the CPAC speech? 3.40. 3.40. Uh, so that's 3.40 this afternoon. But anyway, the, the one of the key takeaways from this morning was I got a really good question at TPPF, which was, how will you actually shut down the federal government bureaucracies like the Department of Education against the backdrop of of civil service protections, okay, against the backdrop of statutes that say that this president actually has to spend this money even if it's allocated by Congress. One of the reasons I love TPPF, grounded in substance, great audience. Here's the answer. I believe in Article 2 of the Constitution. Article 2 of the Constitution says that the president of the United States runs the executive branch of the government. Full stop. Doesn't have doesn't have a lot of qualifications around that. It's a basic principle. So here's the deal. A lot of those statutes that involve overreach from one branch of government to the other is a violation of the separation of powers. I know this from the private sector. If someone works for you and you can't fire them, that means that they don't actually work for you. It means you work for them. That's not the way that Article 2 set the executive branch of the government into motion. And so my view is that I'm going to act with executive power that operates according to a view that those statutes are unconstitutional. And that's going to be litigated and it'll get taken to the Supreme Court. And I believe that the current Supreme Court, this wasn't always true, but the current Supreme Court will be on my side of this interpretation. And that will codify this in precedent. Okay, that's actually judicial precedent. That will forever codify the idea that who would have ever thought in America, the people we elect to run the government are the ones who actually run the government. But that requires a president who's deeply constitutionally well-versed to have the conviction to actually do it and to do so on solid constitutional grounds and to understand why we're doing it, not just reciting a slogan. It's a big part of my candidacy.